and welcome to Furry Years World, where we are back in Stone Block 2, and we're assessing cows. We are doing cow assessment. We need flu fluid energetic silver cow. He's got to come with us. You've got to come with us, buddy. We haven't put you anywhere, so we need to take you downstairs and, and do stuff with you. Um, we need to put you in one of these, you know, chambers of love that we have down here. These are love chambers. You, you'll you'll be happy in here with your with your brethren. Your, your cowy bovine brethren. So what does that give me? Energetic silver ingot. Okay. I can, I can get behind that. It's quite the cow emporium we have down here now. I am well pleased with it. This fella, you know, he's doing, his, he's doing a job of work there. Uh, let's take... You can't do anything yet, but we do need you down there. So let's get let's get Obsidian Boy sorted. Let's get Obsidian Boy on the go. Then we can get some Obsidian in our system, and that is going to help us with hardened glass, which is going to be a, a requirement of future progress. Yeah, there's no Obsidian here yet, is there? So what we need to do... Ooh, this could be problematic. Um... No, it's not. It's not going to be problematic. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What we need to do is clear that out and do that and take that. Excellent. We're not ready to import these into the system yet, so we can just grab samples and put samples where we want them to be. And that way we know we're not going to be dumping crap into the system that we can't... Because everything's locked in the system. And we could easily just stall out the system completely and we don't want to do that. Should have bought the molten cow with me while I was doing this. I should have bought the liquid goo, but I didn't. I didn't bring the liquid goo. Alright, you need to break that. That will all vanish into there. Perfect. And then we pop that down. That should now, if I put Obsidian Boy in there, yeah, that should pour me some majestic lumps of obsidian from straight out of the cow's teats. So this should be good. This should be good. Right, you, obsidian boy, you're with me. There's so much work involved in being a, a, a responsible cow technician. I, I, best word I could think of there. There we go. So that should not work because we need to turn the tank on of course boop now that falls into there that cools off nicely slowly painfully awkwardly bop and then that fills up good 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 that's good if you hadn't guessed so we want that that and that uh, get ready to do the do you kind of also Ah, uh, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's what, yeah, everything's right. Everything's right. I was getting confused there. I confused myself with things and stuff. So theoretically, this whole area here should get emptied out. It won't, but it should. Uh, we've got another infinity cow. Right, so we are going to go and pre-stage these boxes over here now. That's what we're going to do. So we want uh, obsidian to go into something, uh, which will be something that voids you up there, your obsidian. And we want energetic silver to go in something. That's you there. I don't think we've already got energetic silver. Don't know. Nickel. Uh, something that voids you. Uh, eh. There we go. Nickel's gone in somewhere. Good. So we could connect those up and everything would be hunky-dory now. I don't really want to do it yet till we've got all the cow fields, cow areas populated. I don't know if we're pulling you anywhere. So I'm going to take you. I don't know if we've got any of this stellar alloy going down there yet. So we're taking him. 
we can check the ME system. If the ME system we've got says we've got stellar alloy, then we're, we're about to make a cracking mistake. There we go. Uh, we need to put a drawer on you, don't we? There we go. And that should start pumping out. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Maybe it doesn't pull much out. Whatever. Whatever. We'll see what happens with that one. That could be a bit of a cock-up and a, a catastrophe. So we've got another infinity cow to come down here. And then we need to wait for like three hours. Oh, he's ready now. I'm going to put him in the system because the other two, I'm fairly sure, have got a three-hour cooldown on them still. We can pull one and see. It won't hurt to pull one. But we're, we're making steady progress with our infinity cows. Not that we need that much infinity, in all honesty. I can't imagine us needing that much infinity. He's got four hour cooldown on him. Let's have a look at this fella. Your molten infinity. Bonk. Bonk. Yeah, you've got an hour left on cooldown for you. And I think the other ones are going to be the same, so we'll not worry about them just yet. Let's get some slime down here. Let's get some weird slime types. There's a blue slime here. Liquid blue slime. You'll do. Uh, you need to be bonked. And down we go. Uh, do, 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 Boop. Ah, no draw. Okay, let's get that fired up. Fix that problem. Now we got some stuff coming in. Good, 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 good. Everything's looking pretty, pretty cool here. So we've got four slots left available for ingot formers or block formers like we've got with the obsidian. Obsidian was, you know, out of left field, but it works. Have you grown up? Has your little babby here grown up? Nah, he ain't. We've got 855 left on him. We've got liquid death, liquid purple slime. You're a slime. It says slime, so, you know, you, you can go down here and join in the slime brigade. It's all a bit slimy down here now. Oop, there you go. Uh, we need a drawer on you. Bop. Bop, bop. Need to remember that drawer. Need to remember that drawer that we need to set it rather than just walk away. You are fluid crystalline pink slime. You are water. Fluid crystalline pink slime. I mean, it's slime. So, bonk. You're with me. You're with me, cow. Uh, we got one slot left after. Uh, yeah, we got no. We got two slots left after this. Bonk. And turn on the draw. There we go. Oh, it's just so glori gloriously colourful down here. Gloriously colourful. I'm loving it. I mean, I think everything else here is crap. Molten clay, liquefacted coal. Liquid death. I don't know what to do with a liquid death cow. I know to think... My brain, my brain is screaming, steer well clear of the bugger. But generally, I don't really know what else to do with it. So we're going to stick the essence of knowledge or whatever the hell this is down here. So we've got some gaps down here. We've got four available slots. This is good. And we're waiting on... What was it called? Something alloy. Some shiny alloy or something. I can't really remember. We can check as we go past. Stellar alloy. Let's go and see if there's any stellar alloy in, uh, in the ME system. I think that's a critical step forward. We're going to check the chickens first. Remind me when I come back from the chickens, I need to check the fluids. I need to check stellar alloy in the ME system. That's kind of important. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 9. Okay, let's get that out and that out. He can go in there and he can go in there. And then we'll, we'll have 10, 10, 10 chickens. And we can start getting the stuff from them into the ME system. Did, did, did. That didn't come out terribly well, but yeah, we, we'll cope. Uh, fluid stellar alloy. So we're looking for STE. 
End steel, steel, dark steel. No, we haven't got any stellar alloy in there. That's all good. That's that's kind of what we wanted to see. We are going to have a problem. Maybe we won't have a problem. Maybe we won't actually have a problem. I want to get rid of this pink goo at the back here. And we need to bunch up. Do we need to bunch these up? Milk? Not really bothered. Molten clay. Liquefacted coal. Water. Liquid death. I just... What? What? What am I supposed to do with liquid death? I just don't know. So this bit down here now annoys me, so it can go... Eh, 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 eh. Let me have it, let me have it. There we go, we got it. We got a bucket of goo. We can put it in there. It won't... We can move it down here. I want to keep the bucket, you see. This is the problem. Uh, but then it could cause an issue, couldn't it? We're going to lose the bucket. We're going to bin the bucket off. We're going to bin the bucket up right off. That should be good. Quickly dive up here and bin that there bucket. Solves the problem. Solves the problem that we did have that we don't need. Excellent. So now, we've got all our cows doing what our cows are doing. We need to hook up all the pipes and, and do that. But we need, we need samples in here first before we do that. So I want to start digging this. So it's going to go through into a space like this. That can back off one, I think. Um, stone. We need smooth stone in there, don't we? Bob. There. Like that. It's it's almost like it never existed. Then we want to go three by three, and we want to go down a row, like so. And then we want to go three by three. And then we want to go down a rope. Do you get my drift here? I don't know if this is going to be deep enough, but we're going to try for it. If it doesn't work, we will improve it. So this is the start of our new room. It's going to be huge. It's going to be massive, and I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to dig it out. I've got a feeling it's going to be a quarry, a quarry job. I think build crafts in here, so a quarry job's not out of the question. Let's get some torches up and around the place. That looks good. That looks good. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the space we're making for ourselves here. It, it feels right. It doesn't. It's not immediately obvious when you come to the entrance that there's there's anything down here, but it will it, it will be the, the central point of all operations. I'm tempted. I am tempted to just grass the whole area. I think that's a it, it shows we've got like plans and progression if we're if we're reaching out and doing grass type things. So we'll have a torch there. We will have a torch there. We will have a torch there. How deep are we? That's quite deep. That's that's gonna be a fair old chunk of space, isn't it? I'm not sure it's gonna be big enough. We should go a little bit further. A little bit further. Cause the, the the bad thing about this world is that there's nothing in it. The good thing about this world, there's nothing in it except stone. So you can you can carve your own you can carve your own everything here and and it's just going to be amazing. Well, might be overstating it a little bit there, but it's just going to be good. Stone, excellent. You can have some more cobble in the cookerminator side of this. Doop doop and doop because that that way we can keep on top of the stone situation. We can make some stone stairs, I said. Did I? Did I say stairs? Can we not make stone stairs? Is stone stairs not a thing we can make? I thought stone stairs were a thing you could make. It says no. Game says no. So let's try stone brick stairs. Can we make stone brick stairs? Game says yes. Okay, cool. Thank God, game. You had me worried then for a second. I was like, really? I can't make stone stairs? That's, you know, harrowing news. Harrowing? Oops, gone too far. That's Furrier's way, though, isn't it? We always go one step too far. Pushing the bounds of, of entertainment by going one step too far. That might be overstating it just a tad. Okay, good, good, good. And then, oopla, oopla, 
and pla. Nice, and we can get up and down here easy enough. I don't like the ceiling. The ceiling has got to go up one more. Ah, we can't do that. Uh, okay, that's a problem we can fix, I think. Uh, yeah, we, we're going to have to take this one out instead. And hope we've not buried anything there. And then this one. This is good. This is good. So I'm loving the cows working now. They're doing a good job. We need to get the f stellar alloy doing its job properly. And we need to breed up more gelid cryothium cows. But other than that, I think we're on a roll. So now we just dig through there. Like that. That's perfect. One more. And this will be where our room is. So kind of up from there is going to be the corner of the room. That there will be the corner of the room. Good. I'm happy with that. The arrangement we've come to there seems pretty good. We'll do that, because that's the entrance. Good. And then we don't bang our head going up and down. It's a bit janky, but it's not too bad. Good. And it, it just looks like nothing. It just looks like nothing. And you go in, and it's just going to be a vast, vast, full, up to here, basically, empty room. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. So I think from Furrier's world for now, we are going to go with a cheery old ta-ta.